listen, we need to create a space on here for married women and women who are in relationships and men as well to say how happy they are. All I hear is negativity, honey. Maybe my algorithm is jacked up because I like one too many videos where I was agreeing with somebody about their experiences, baby. But that's not me. All right. I'm happy, healthy, and whole. And so is my husband. And we love each other. And we have fun and we wrestle and we play and we play games. And he get irritated and I get irritated and we work it out. And if we have a disagreement, we come to a common ground or we agree to disagree and we move on. We respect each other. We talk about our hopes and our dreams. We make clear what our expectations, boundaries, and deal breakers are, honey. There's some happy people in relationships, okay? There's a lot of jaded people out here and I get it because I was in a horrible marriage before I got remarried for the last time, honey. But that's because in between that, I did the work I needed to do to find out who I was, who I am, what I need, what I will and will not accept, I dealt with my childhood trauma, so I wasn't trauma bonding with anybody anymore. And I also made a decision to wait and not date anybody. I dated myself. I wasn't actively looking for a partner, but I knew I wanted to be partnered. I knew it. And I put that in the universe. I let the Lord know, hey, I want to be a wife. You're not going to make me feel bad for wanting to be a wife, wanting to be coupled with somebody for serving my husband and him serving me. I hear people that talk down on marriage so bad that I think it's called married women and men to just go in the shell and not say anything and not talk about how happy they are. Or it could be because we out here living our life being happy and we don't know what's going on on the internet all the time, right? Whatever the situation is, if you're in a happy relationship, it's okay to talk about it because people who are unhappy, baby, they talk about it all day. Maybe you'll give somebody the courage to leave a relationship that's not good for them. Maybe they're staying in a relationship because they keep watching these videos that talk about how horrible it is out here and how the dating pool is full of crap. And so they're saying, well, shoot, I got my piece of crap right here. At least I know what it smells like. I'm going to just stay over here with this crap instead of trying to find something else, right? Listen, if you want to find a partner that suits you, you have to get to know yourself first so that your discernment is on point. That's my two cents. Take it or leave it. It's free.